Hi everyone, welcome back to another recipe week of cookery. Now this week we're going to make flapjacks. They have been personally requested by a certain young lady in Pimlico who has apparently been trying to do flapjacks but not been very successful. So Lily Mae, these are just for you and I hope they come out successfully. And anybody else has any requests anytime, please let me know, write in, send us a message at the club and I'll see what I can do. So with flapjacks, our ingredients are you have 350 grams of porridge oats, 150 grams of soft brown sugar, 150 grams of unsalted butter, 75 grams of golden syrup, which is approximately three tablespoons, and a pinch of salt. Equipment, you will need a saucepan, a wooden spoon to stir, and then you need an ovenproof dish. It can be metal or glass, if it's ovenproof glass, and then you line it with some greaseproof baking paper like I've done ready. If you haven't got any baking paper, it's not the end of the world. It will work, it just means it's a little bit harder to clean after and it gets stuck a little bit more. So that's the basics. Now, what's our first rule? Please go and wash your hands. I've just washed mine. If you all go off and wash yours, we can get going. Right, hopefully you're all back, hands nice and washed. So the first thing we have to do today, we need to turn the oven on to 180. So we're going to preheat our oven at 180. So now coming back, we're now going to turn our hob on. I'm going to turn mine on to a 10. Again, like I say every week, everybody's ovens are different. So please ask your adult, but you just want it to a medium to high-ish heat because our first jobs are to put our butter in. We're going to melt our butter. So the butter goes in and we need to melt it. So that's in, butter in. I'm just going to stir that around a bit. As you can see, it melts quite quickly. So, right, so we're continuing to melt the butter. It really doesn't take that long at all. As the butter's melting, now we're going to add our brown sugar. So, simple as anything, just all goes in. And as the butter and the sugar should start to all mix and melt together. It smells absolutely delicious already because it's making. So we're just continuing to keep, keep stirring it, whatever you do, because you don't want the butter to burn or get stuck in one lump. So we, as you can see, we're just continuing to melt the butter. Now we're going to add our golden syrup. So again, all in. I've just got a spatula here that's helping get the syrup straight in. But if you've only got a spoon, you can scrape it out of a spoon. It's absolutely no problem at all. You don't need fancy tools or anything for this. I'm just gonna put that in the sink, it's very sticky. And we come back to our mixture. So we literally get it all to melt in together. Now I'm making the basic recipe for a flapjacks, just golden syrup flapjacks. If you like raisins or any other dried fruit, you can mix them in and make them fruity flapjacks. Or at the end, if you like sort of a chocolatey flapjack, you can melt some chocolate, melted chocolate, as you learned the other week when we made our Rocky Road popcorn, that you know how to melt chocolate. Now you can melt some chocolate and drizzle that over the top at the end. I'm keeping this as the basic standard flapjack recipe so that you guys can use your imaginations to adapt it and make it different flavored if you like. So we're just continuing with our butter melting. We're nearly there if you think how big that block was. And now we're down to this. If you didn't catch the exact ingredient list when I was speaking, you'll find them also on the St Andrew's website. They're already pre-listed, so you can go back over and see exactly how much of each ingredient you need. So we're nearly there. We're just gonna continue melting that down. As you know, I'm always doing this in real time, so I'll try and pick nice, quick, easy, Recipes that don't have too many ingredients, that are not too hard to get hold of, and we can order them together in real time. So, butter's nearly gone. We're just gonna let that all still continue to... melt. The sugar's going smoother. It's 
into this crystallized and it's going to be nice. I wish you could smell it from here because it smells delicious. So my butter's basically gone, but now I'm just going to keep stirring it probably approximately for another minute to just melt the sugar a little bit more. All right, so we've been simmering that for a minute. I'm going to take it off the heat, bring it over here, put it on a surface that you can put heat on. And now we're just going to add, first of all, we're going to add our pinch of salt, literally. Give that a quick mix in. You could have added that in after the oats, but it's probably easier to mix it in there. And then we're going to add our oats, literally. And we're just going to mix it all into the mixture. It's going to get very sticky and we'll obviously dry, soak up all the sauce. And we'll keep mixing until it's all evenly covered. So if you think you haven't got enough sauce, you have if you just keep mixing. Because as you can see at the beginning, it looked like there was no way going to be enough wet mixture to cover the oats but there is plenty when you mix it and mix it and mix it. So when you are happy that that's all evenly coated, get your oven food dish and we now put it inside. So simple, 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 nice easy recipe. And don't forget, I did say before, you can make all different flavours if you want to, but we're just going to pat it down to all the corners. And your spoon, even use your finger because you don't want to waste any mixture. Just be careful in case it's a little bit hot, the mixture. So, that is it basically done. All is left to do now, we're going to put it in the oven. We've already preheated the oven to 180. We're going to put it in. If you like your flat black, flat, flat jacks chewy, you probably would go for 20 minutes. If you like them a bit crunchier, you could go for half an hour. I'm going to check them after 20 minutes and see how they're doing. We quite like ours a little bit chewy. So they now go in the oven, 20 minutes time, they should be done. Right, so now I'm going to take our flat jacks out. We've had ours in just over 20 minutes because we do like ours a little bit softer. So I'm going to turn the oven off. Remember to always use an oven glove or a tea towel or something because it's going to be very hot when you get it out. We're just going to bring it over. Not touching the dish, obviously. And now as you can see, it's all lovely and golden. It now needs to cool. But what we, basically, we suggest you do is just gently get a sharp knife and score the portions you're going to want when you're, once it's cooled. Because it'll make it a lot easier to cut once it's dried and cooled and gone a bit harder. So I just score mine like that. And I'm just gonna go once in the middle. We can have big pieces today. So there you have it. There's our yummy flapjacks. They just need now, you now need to leave them to completely cool before you then can lift them out gently off the, um, the dish and then you can enjoy. So, Lily May, I hope you have success with making these ones and I hope you really enjoy them. I'd love to see some photographs. And everyone else, guys, if you make them, please remember, send your pictures into the Andrews and we'll try and put some up on our web pages. And we love hearing from you, basically. So we miss you guys. Take care and I'll see you again next week for another recipe.